Hello everyone, in today's video I'll be showing you how to get a beautiful kind of polarized glassy effect using chrome powders over various gel polishes. And as you can see it creates this very shiny uh, metallic mirror finish, but it still allows the color coat to uh, be seen from underneath. And that's the cool thing about Angela's uh, Chromageddon, which is the product that I'll be showing you today. Um, this is her um, five gram jar, I believe. She also has a 2.5 gram jar on her side as well. And I'll provide a link down in the uh, info section for that at the end of the video. So uh, once again, this is to uh, show you how to use Chromageddon. Now, not all chrome powders are the same. And uh, so if you're wanting this effect, I can tell you 100% sure that with Angela's product, you will get this effect. Um, I do have uh, a reader who said that when she tried it, all that she got was a silver uh, finish. And uh, that just sounded to me that the powder itself was simply too opaque. The silver was too opaque to allow the color to show from underneath. So. Again, just keep that in mind when you're purchasing your powders. Not all of them are the same. The ingredients on Angela's Chromageddon are two ingredients, uh, glass, tempered glass, and silver. So it's basically microns of tempered glass coated with real silver. And that gives you that kind of translucence when you put it over uh, the uh, color, yet you also get the mirror finish uh, as you would uh, as a chrome, which is a really stunning effect. And so I'll show you over two colors today uh, how to do that. It is very, very simple. And uh, I'm gonna get gloved up for this because uh, I don't like getting it all over my hand. So let me get that out of the way and I'll be right back. All right, now we're ready to go ahead and get started. As you can see here, I have two samples. These are very, very bright colors, but once we put the silver on, it will lighten them up to more pastel type colors with that gorgeous kind of polarized look. So we'll start with the purple. And what I like to do, the uh, cool thing about her uh, packaging here, is her container has a little flip top lid, which will, will help keep your precious powder in place until you're ready to use it. And what I like to do is simply place it just a few shakes. You don't need much. This is a technique that needs very, very little of this powder. So you can see I put very little in there. That should be just enough to do probably both nails. And I can't find the applicators that she gave me or provided in her packaging. Uh, she will provide you with one sponge applicator with a slightly smaller end and a larger end. And then uh, she will also provide a temporary silicone tool uh, to use. And uh, those are perfectly good tools to use. They're not meant to use uh, all the time. So if you want to use the silicone, I would suggest uh, checking out your local craft store and seeing if you can find uh, one of those. But for this application, I'm simply going to use the sponge applicator. And I'm going to just pick up about this much silver. And then I'm simply going to put that all over the top of my swatch here. Now my swatch, uh, I should say, I'm 
assuming that people see my other video, I shouldn't uh, assume. Um, you do need a no wipe top coat. My preferred no wipe top coat is Accents uh, Shine On. It's a lovely product, uh, super shiny, and you do need that tackless top coat for this to work the best. So I did apply one coat of Gel Aze's Your Shore Bright and one coat of the Accents Shine On over that, cured it, and that's what I applied the silver to. So you can see here, you now have the color still comes through, but it's more of a pastel look now. And you wanna make sure before you top coat this that you get all of the remaining uh, dust off the nail, otherwise you're gonna get a shimmer effect rather than a smooth, glassy effect. So that's part of the reason why I gloved up. Um, it's just better, really, than to put this on your fingers, your skin. So I'm just coming through and wiping off the additional dust and there you have the beautiful metallic, you can see the camera there and the reflection. That beautiful metallic finish, yet you can still see the purple underneath. And all you would do at this point, so do on my manicure, which is going on seven days now. I did two coats of the accents over the chrome. And what I do is I do the first coat, try not to overbrush, it will hopefully uh, prevent any of the uh, silver from kind of coming up into your top coat. And pop that in the lamp as soon as you can. And I'm only going to flash cure this for about five seconds and the reason for that is because it is a tackless top coat. Uh, if you cure fully and then put another layer of top coat over that, you'll probably get some peeling. I did experience that one time. So to avoid that, I simply flash cured for five seconds. Now I'm doing the second coat of the top coat. I'm making sure that I get all around the edges because you want to seal that in. This behaves like any other pigment uh, would in that it sometimes has a tendency to chip if you don't seal the edges really well. Once you get that second coat on, now you're ready to go ahead and cure that fully. We'll be right back. All right, so here's the final result with the two layers of top coat. And again, you can see that gorgeous reflection. You can see my camera there on the tripod and the beautiful purple still comes from underneath and again that comes from the translucence of the silver over the glass if you are getting chromes from elsewhere you might contact the seller and ask them if they have tried this over additional colors to see if you'll get the same type look before you purchase that's probably best so you're not disappointed once you get it and We'll do this over the pink. On this swatch, I have one coat of IBD Inky Pinky, a beautiful kind of neon bright pink. And again, one coat of the uh, Accents Top Coat, cured. And we'll top that one with the chrome as well. And you can see that it makes a huge difference as far as changing the actual color of it, but um, and that's what the fun part to me was experimenting and seeing what colors changed to um, what kind of effects you would get with different colors. This chrome looks especially stunning over um, neutral colors. You get some beautiful pearl like color, champagne colors. It's really gorgeous. So once again, it does not take much of the chrome at all as you can see and I probably I didn't even use everything that was in the bottom of that so you need again very little of it the less you use the less that it will kind of fly around you can't see it here but there are 
little flyaways here in my light tint and uh, if you have a concern about that if you're using this on clients you might want to provide your client and yourself with a dust mask if that is a concern and uh, if you're doing this at home uh, you might want to take the same precautions uh, especially if you see that it's flying around a lot in this case I use so little of it it's it's not really uh, an issue so there it is over the pink and again, that gorgeous, gorgeous metallic look. And what I love about this is Angela's product is super, super smooth. I've seen some out there that look kind of grainy looking and uh, just doesn't have that really smooth, glassy look like this does. And I attribute that to the uh, silver and the uh, substrate of the glass. So. I'm going to go ahead and top coat that. And then I'll show you some more samples here. I'll try to answer some more questions as well because I've had a lot of people ask me general questions about how long does it wear, what's my favorite top coat, uh, you know, things like that. Um, uh, Accents is my favorite no wipe top coat. Uh, it just, I've never had problems using it with really anything uh, that I do with my nail art. So it's a very good product. And how long does it wear? Uh, like I said, this manicure that I have right now uh, is going on seven days without a chip in it. And so uh, bravo for that, for Angela, for providing a product that doesn't chip. And I'm going to go ahead and cure that and be right back. All right, here we have our finished samples with the purple and pink. And again, showing off that gorgeous reflective quality, that kind of polarized lens look with that color that still comes out from underneath. Um, this is a very good product. Angela does uh, put a lot of time and effort into researching this and making sure that she was getting cosmetic safe uh, uh, ingredients to use. Once again, only two ingredients. Uh, basically, it's tempered glass with uh, real silver coating it. And um, so, obviously, if you're allergic to silver, then don't use it. Uh, that's just common sense. Uh, but if you don't have any issues with silver, I think you'll be just fine using this product. Uh, this, this chrome craze has kind of gotten out of hand and people are making kind of uninformed statements about the uh, safety of certain pigments and I think that, you know, it's helpful if people will do some research and look it up on their own and, and make an informed decision before they start blasting other people. So uh, here is what her silver looks like over clear black and white. Uh, this one is two coats over uh, clear. And again, um, beautiful, um, beautiful silver effect here with the uh, reflective quality there. Uh, as far as the layers go, uh, for, for this, I just did one coat of the accents, one coat of the chrome, another coat of the accents, and another coat of the chrome, and then top coated that. And there you have the product. So that's two coats over clear. This one is three, clo uh, three coats over clear. You get, uh, it's still slightly translucent um, as far as uh, being able to see through it, but on the nail, you would not notice that. You would just notice the beautiful mirror silver. So th this is three coats over clear. This is two coats over black has a slight antique silver uh, look compared to slightly darker, not much. Next to the white, however, this one is white. You can see it is darker. If you just do one coat over black, you get more of the antique silver look. Over white is more of the bright, uh, shiny silver, both very reflective. And here's some more samples. If you saw my previous uh, kind of sneak peek video of the Chromageddon, you would have seen these, but I'll show them here uh, as well. This is over a very light pink, beautiful kind of shell pink color there. 
this one is over, uh, this one is La Chat Moon River, kind of a green blue. This one is over uh, Reforma Brantford uh, gel polish. I don't believe they make this gel polish anymore, but you can probably find some comparable colors. Quite nice. This one turned out to be one of my favorites. This is a gorgeous champagne color. This one is uh, very light pink with a hint of beige undertone, and uh, that really does come through on this. It's a beautiful, beautiful uh, kind of pearl pink color. Beautiful. This one is Flip Flop Fantasy by China Glaze. That's what's on my thumb here. This one is Purple Crush by Orly. Again, you still get the mirror effect. And this one is Rock Candy from La Chat. So you can see you get all kinds of different looks with different colors with this chrome. It's a very versatile chrome powder. Uh, again, this is the um, full size. I believe it's $12.95 for 5 grams, but it, once again, you're getting real silver. She also has a 2.5 gram for $8.95, I believe it is. When you receive it, you get your sponge applicator along with your, um, along with your silicone applicator and in instruction sheet. She has the four Ps, Prime, Pigment, Perfect, and Protect. Lots of good information here. And on the back, she has tips and tricks and uh, recommended for what use, uh, for what kind of, uh, kind of uh, effect that you're going for. She gives you some ideas of, of what to do for that. Um, so I'm trying to think of some more questions that people had asked me. Once again, my favorite, absolute favorite uh, no wipe is the accents. There are tons of no wipes out there. Uh, if you don't want to use the accents, you can certainly try, you know, your preferred brand and see if it works. Uh, if you don't get the same results here that, that I do, um, I'm not sure what to tell you. Uh, if you're using the same products that I am and, and you're having a problem, then let me know and we'll try and see what we can figure out. Um, Again, where I've got, this is going on seven days. And as you can see, it is still absolutely perfect. There is no chipping, there's no wear uh, from the tips. I did make sure that I made sure that I got coated with that top coat all the way around. I didn't even have to leave a border, um, as you can see, and it's still absolutely perfect. Uh, my multi-chrome manicure that I had from uh, last week using the uh, automotive pigments, I did get a chip after about eight days on this nail, but for, for pigments, that's a really good long wear. If you, any of you have worn pigments and you know that chipping can be a problem, uh, that's actually a decent wear time for pigments. So. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Uh, if you have any problems, uh, you know, go ahead and let me know. If you have any questions, uh, we'll, you know, I'll get back with you, try and see if we can figure out what any problems may be. Uh, Angela is also available to ask, uh, ask any questions of as well. So uh, I will leave links to all the products that I used here. Uh, and until next time, I will see you guys later.